guys so for today we are going to create a logo without using photoshop or illustrator this day we are going to create a logo using only your phone so this app is called pixelab it will be available on the link in the description so make sure to install it so first you have to open pixelab and here's the interface of pixelab so we need to delete this text because it is not needed okay and after that we need to change our background into the desired one which is dark backgrounds or whatever you want it could be white one if you want a white one but in the case we're going to have a dark background and after that you need to turn on the grid so that you could have a much better perspective on which one is in line or not so after that you're going to have a shape so that's a rectangle shape that we need and after that we need to create again another shape but this time it should be a rectangle so I use rectangle shape to cut out to make it look like it's cut out on the side because it's hard here to have a straight cut out because there's no option that it could mask the shape so this one is it is not really a cut out it must it's just like a an effect that looks like a cut out you need to align it properly and there you go just a little bit different on the side okay on the side up and then you're good to go Okay. And after that, we need to merge these two uh, shapes into one. Why? Because we are going to have the duplicates after we already merged it. Okay, there you go. Click OK. And then after that, we need to create a copy. So that we will not be creating again in that two shapes. We're just going to copy it because it's already made. And if it's necessary, we're going to cut it out to whatever we desire, to whatever shape we desire, to whatever size we desire. So in the case, I'm gonna have to cut it just a half of it. Okay, we're good to go. And after that, it will look like this. So, we need to copy it again because I'll be making a logo that should look like this. So, I needed to copy a bit. Two copies and then we need again another one so that we can make a little T because these three sides here it will look like a letter E and this one on the top just has this read and then it should look like letter D so we need to cut out this uh, into half so that we can make it 
adjusted what it used to be so in this process it's really quite time consuming because you need there is no measurement that measures how much you need or how much you want to cut so there's a lot of trial and error and by the way guys you might be thinking why my videos right now is having a voiceover it is because one of my viewers said that I must be including a voiceover so that my viewers will be able to understand in a better way to understand they would understand you yes you who is watching this will be able to understand what this tutorial is all about and those uh, options that I'm clicking We need to uh, lower it down. So you go to the position and then lower it down. Okay. There you go. It's fine. So the next thing is we're going to crop that uh, long part so that it should look like a letter D because my signage is letter E and D that stands for edit tricks. There you go, it's quite cool, see? And by the way guys, this recording is a live recording audio because I must be, I may be having hard time if I'm gonna record it already and then edit it. It must be beautiful, be putting it right away. your logo so we need to resize our background into the desired size like on youtube it's a youtube banner because there is no other option you can do it manually but uh we need to be having a hard time on that one so i'm gonna have to just pick the youtube banner So we must recenter it. There's another way you can do it. Just by going to relative position and you can center it directly. So the next thing is on this logo that I made, I, need, I am going to include the text. And the text will be added tricks. So we're going to need a font that looks like a really it looks like good. So go to the font and then I've already downloaded the fonts that I wanted to apply. Okay, let's do it like this.
just a little bit there inside. Space here. After that, we're going to have another text that would be a motion image. It's part of my tagline. And there you go. So, scroll down and get the font again. And in the case, I already had my favorite uh, font style. Font style. Okay. It's so to make it more dramatic, I will need to increase the spacing, size and the spacing by the letter. And by the way, the intro that you're seeing upon watching this video is that's this one. I animated it and do some of color correction so that it, should, it will look good. So that logo is this one that we are making right now. Just a little bit of the size and then try to move it. You need to uh, suppose the trim on it to place the trim on it to be. Okay, there you go. And now we're going to resize the logo itself. Yeah, would because I want them to really have the same height as the text so that it will really look matchy. We're going to merge this whole three with the text and the logo to make it one logo that you could move around and you could After you merging the logo, uh, try to recenter it by using the relative position, and there you go. The logo is done. Just a few minutes, we just created a logo. After that, you can already save it into various formats. PNG. But I suggest you will save it in PNG because if you're going to animate it, it must be on PNG. But if you're just going to upload it, you can have the JPEG and save it to ultra quality. And you're good to go. It's done. So that is all for this tutorial, hope you like it guys, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you can be updated when I have new uploads. Thank you so much. Peace.